In the country of Wales in the early 1900s, they had a revival that hit there that just changed the face of, of everything about that country. It was so powerful, and the, the Holy Spirit's influence was so strong that a stranger entering a village where a revival would go on, was going on would just suddenly fall under the conviction without even being talked to. Sailors would come into harbors, come next to, come to the shore, and they had no idea a revival was going on, and yet they would just fall under terrible conviction of their sin. The judges during that time didn't have court cases to try, so they wore white gloves to show that they had no cases on their docket. Policemen were laid off because there was not enough crime. They formed choirs and they sang from church to church. The bars were closed down. Horses that worked in the, in the coal mines had to be retrained because they had always been directed with profanity. And now the coal miners were getting saved and they no longer used the same profanity so they had to change the way that the horses were spoken to and had to retrain them. That is the influence of the power of God. That cannot be manipulated. That is when God touches a people. And revival is not going to come because we put it on a calendar and hold some meetings. Revival is going to come when we pray and ask God by His power to change us and to change this, this, this uh, city and this society. And that is the warfare that we are in. That is the battle that we have been called to. Whether we like it or not, that's what it means to follow Christ. 